to jump into PDJ and I just want to talk to you a little bit, uh, you know, um, about wisdom and, and I titled it the value of wisdom because there's a value within wisdom that I believe that that we miss, we lose focus of and I don't want to jump in really deep. I just I'm going to stay generic kind of. Let me just put it this way. I'm going to just stay right uh, kind of generic and and more of questioning us. Why aren't we searching for wisdom? Right. If wisdom does everything and wisdom's powerful and wisdom and knowledge and understanding and discernment, why aren't we seeking? So I just want us to ask ourselves, I just want to just ask yourself, you know, what is the value of wisdom? Because I ask myself that, and when I really sit back and look at it, there, there's a lot of value in wisdom. Um, wisdom is more valuable than silver or gold or rubies or anything else because I, I can do all things through God's wisdom, amen, through Christ that strengthens me, because wisdom is actually Holy Spirit guiding and directing us. But I want us to read from Proverbs chapter 2, and I'm not going to read all of it. I'm going to read like 1 through 9, maybe hit a couple others, but the value of wisdom. And, and I want you to, to open up your Bibles to Proverbs 2, and I want you to read along with me, because it's important that we um, dive in, and it's important that we have a value on wisdom, and what does wisdom do, amen? Uh, because uh, wisdom is everything. And it says... My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commandments within you so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding. He, he's making it pretty clear what, what we need to do. Wisdom, understanding, discernment. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty clear that we need to open up our hearts and our eyes and, and our ears, and, and we need to, to really receive wisdom, right? Because wisdom guides us and directs us. It says in verse 3, Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding. For, verse 4, If you seek her as silver and search, her, search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Did you understand that in verse 5? Then you will understand the fear of the Lord. But then if you read uh, you know, down in, in Proverbs 1, 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Do you, do you get what it's saying? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Uh, so if I have a fear, if I have a reverence to the Lord, that's the beginning of knowledge of the Lord, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So I, I, what I need to do is I need to read the word of God. I need to receive the wisdom. I need to read the Bible. I need to read the truth. And then that's going to cultivate a fear, a reverence, a love for God that he loves me so much that he gave up his only begotten son, that he loves me so much that he wants me to live right. He loves me so much that he protects me. He guides me, directs me. You see, see where we're going? Because as I seek his word, as I seek wisdom and knowledge, understand, because see this Bible right here, this word, th this is wisdom. This is knowledge. This is discernment. This is understanding. And when I seek this, uh, that gives me a, a, a greater reverence, a, a knowledge of God, of who he really is, that he is Lord of Lord and he is King of Kings. He is the healer. He's, he is the deliverer. He is my peace. He's everything. And when I read this word, then, then it brings him even to a greater life, a greater understanding uh, within me that, you know what? God is so good. Look what God has done for me. Look, if I choose this, obedience brings the blessing. And, and when I do walk in obedience and I do walk in obedience to his word, which is true worship, is, is living according to his word, is, is uh, true worship to God, then I see his grace and his mercy. I see his provision and his blessings. It draws me closer. There's a reverence. There's there's something I know about God. I, I love the fact. And it even says in Psalms 111, 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The reverence of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do his commandments. His praise endures forever. Do you understand th those two verses that we, we read there? A good understanding have all, have all those who do his commandments. So if I'm doing his commandments, I... I you know, I'm living according to his word and I'm seeking and I'm reading. And, and what does it say? We, we know what it says in, in Psalms. You know, meditate on the word day and night. And there should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in the season. His, his leaf shall not wither. You know, uh, and whatever I do shall prosper. So 
Look at that. Then that brings a reverence. That brings a, something, a, a greater reverence to, man, God is so good. He's so gracious. He's so merciful to me. He's, you know, he loves me unconditionally. I mean, just, just think what it does. It, it brings in a fear, a reverence to God. That, Lord, you're just so awesome. You're just so incredible. This is what this Bible does. This, this is nothing but wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It, it brings a whole new light on humility. It brings on a whole new light that it's about the heart. It brings on a new, whole new error that, you know what, my God, you know what, uh, came. He, a God came and, and my God came and walked on the earth and, and he, he took upon the sin. He was without sin, but he took all of our sin and, and paid the price. And, and you know what? He, he, he's healed me and he's delivered me and he set me free. And, and you know, what? if I read his word, it, it teaches me how to, to, uh, be a husband. It teaches me how to to be a, a father. It teaches me how to to buy stuff and and how to get out of debt and and how not to be slothful and and how to be a worker unto the Lord and how to serve the Lord and and how to be the best employee or the best employer. It teaches us, um, you know, how to handle our marriages and how to handle our finances. It, it teaches us how to handle our our neighbor, right? It even teaches us how to handle our enemies. Think about it. It, it. What an incredible, incredible instruction book. Let me just read verse 5 again. Then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Then we'll find the knowledge of God. We're going to find greater depths of God. We're going to have a reverence to God that like we've never had before if I really start getting into this word. I start getting wisdom, wisdom that, that, you know what, it wasn't um, by evolution. It, it wasn't a big bang theory. It, it was God almighty speaking something into existence out of nothing. It teaches us how we live, it te it, it, everything. And it draws us closer to him. It brings us into a reverence that we see Jehovah as our I am, our Jehovah Rapha, our Jehovah Sikhanu, our Jehovah Jireh, oh, our Jehovah Shalom. It, we see God Almighty as our I am. That means he's anything and everything that we need, whatever the situation is. Whenever I, I start digging into this Bible and I start getting this wisdom and I start seeking this wisdom, and it continues to say in verse 6, for the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He st wait, wait, let me just stop right there. That's just for from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. And what did Jesus tell Satan? I don't, I don't live by bread alone, but out by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of my Father in heaven. Isn't this what we should be living by? Every word that comes out, and and every word that comes out is knowledge and understanding, and it draws me closer. It's wisdom, and it, it gives me a, a a greater understanding and, and a, a knowledge of God Almighty of who He is. See, when I read the Word and I I start doing the Word, then then it starts growing my faith and and my trust and my confidence and and my God that that you know I used to run from storms and now I don't run from the storm and and now what used to scare me doesn't scare me and what I used to worry about doesn't I don't worry about. What I used to be stressed about, I don't, I'm not stressed about. What I used to stay up and, and have a sleepless night, I, I, I sleep like a baby now. Wisdom. Wisdom. I love it. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. And you know what? Holy Spirit is the author, right? We might have 40 different individuals that, that inked it. But we have one author, and Holy Spirit is nothing but wisdom, knowledge, understanding, discernment. Holy Spirit continues on. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. He guards the paths of justice and preserves the way of his saints. And you can continue to read everything else within the Bible, what he does. But I want you to... to kind of acknowledge a few things real quick because you know in this uh, proverbs you see the word if quite a bit it, it's an if statement that describes the search for wisdom now what or who does the if apply to it applies to you and i if we do this if we see see we we have to do it we we have we have right 
It takes us. It takes us to spend time in the word. It takes us. If you do this, if you do that, if, right? And then there's then the then statements. I don't know if you've ever programmed or not, but I know years ago when I used to program, if then statements was very popular. You know, if this, then this. And, and you know what? It's the same criteria that, that God has for us. If we do this, then you, you can reap the reward. If I'm obedient to his word, then I get the blessing. If not, then, then cursings. If I choose to seek wisdom, then I'm going to have a new revelation, a, 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 a new reverence, a, a new fear, a new understanding of who God is. I, I, I'm going to have a new faith, a, that my faith is going to grow. I'm going to have a, a new trust and a new confidence each and every day. I'm going to move from glory to glory to glory to glory each and every day if I seek his wisdom. Wisdom provides. Wisdom provides understanding of Yahweh do you understand this is it, it this Bible right here provides understanding of who Yahweh is of who our God is I, I, I read that he is the creator in Genesis see he is the creator in Genesis in one one in the beginning then, then I read that that later on that while wow, he is the provider as well, even in the midst of the wilderness. It, he, he, he is our defender. He, he fights the battles. He is our peace. He, he, he is our shalom. He's our provider. You know, this is what we get. We, we understand. See, this Bible is nothing but wisdom, and it brings us to a, a new uh, realization of who Jehovah really is. I don't know about you, but I want to know who Jehovah is in my life. I want to know more of Jehovah. Wisdom, wisdom provides an understanding of righteousness and justice as well. How to live righteous. Right? Wisdom delivers from evil. Right? It delivers us from evil. You know, it, it gives us the discernment to know right from wrong and that we can choose to have the obedience in our life so we can have the blessing in our life. Right? It teaches us how to be obedient. It gives us a strength to be obedient. That whenever we're tested or, or something comes our way, that, that, that we don't fall to that. That we're not going to, you know, God didn't give us more than what we can handle because he lives within us, right? So then we're overcomers. We're more than conquerors. And then it brings that scripture back to alive that, you know what, then I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me, right? Wisdom. This book is nothing but wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And when I choose, it, it, if I operate that if, if I understand that that if within that means me. If I do this, then I'm going to have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I'm going to have a reverence to the Lord. This, this is the reason why there's a value on wisdom. There's a value on God's wisdom. Why do you think it says within Proverbs that it's better than silver, better than gold? It's more valuable than silver or gold. Uh, you know, because if you have wisdom and you search out for wisdom, wisdom cries in the street. God has said he will reign on the just and the unjust. So wisdom is, is out there. All you have to do is ask God. Ask him and, and he will give you wisdom. He will give you understanding. He will give you knowledge. He will give you dis, dis, discernment and direction. Whatever you, you just have to ask. It, it's up for us. The if is us. If I do my part, then I know God's going to do his. Right? If I search, then I'll have a fear, a new reverence for God. I'll grow closer to God. Just think about it. This Bible is everything. If you have a question, you need an answer, you need guidance, you need discernment, you need direction for anything in the world or anything in life, it, your job, a business, how to be a neighbor, how to be a better father, how to be a better mother, whatever it is, it's all right here in here. You can find anything that you want. You can get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, discernment, direction, everything right here from God's Word. From God's Word. That's why it says in Psalms 119, 105, Your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. 
your word, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding. What is it? What does it do? It, it it illuminates. The word is light. It illuminates our path so we don't stumble in darkness. We don't stumble over the wiles of the devil. We don't stumble and and come short of God's glory. It, it, it's strength that you know what. I, Man, you know, if I, I read his word and I realize it's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, then you know what? I won't stumble for being a husband. I won't stumble for being a daddy. I won't, you know, that doesn't mean we're not going to fall short, but I know how to repent. I, I know that I need to go make it right. I, I need to apologize. And, and you know what? It, it does, it's not about me. It's about God Almighty. Uh, you know, it, it teaches me that, you know, I got to, how, what kind of a neighbor I need to be? What kind of employee? What kind of employer? What, you know, it teaches me how to be a pastor or a shepherd. It teaches you how to be a plumber, electrician, a lawyer, a doctor, it, whatever. It's everything. It illuminates the path that we will not stumble. That if we do fall, <laughs> we know how to get back up and dust ourselves off. Amen. So there's a value in wisdom, in God's wisdom. And we have to activate the if. If. And I'm believing that each and every one of us can. We can read the word of God. We can pray. We can seek him. We can live a, according to this word. We can be overcomers. We can be more than conquerors. Right? Let's activate our ifs so we can get the then. If I do this, then this. God wants to bless you. I'm just telling you. Let's seek and start searching out wisdom. The value of wisdom is priceless, better than anything else. Why do you think that a lot of times whenever you um, really sit down and you talk to multimillionaires, you read articles or billionaires, or, or it doesn't have to be them, millionaires, it could be individual business owners or, or individuals that are successful working for someone, and, and you, you, you start you know, understanding what they're going through and, and they started with no money or they started with uh, not understanding, but then they started seeking out the wisdom and the knowledge. See, that was more valuable than having money because you can have money and if you have no wisdom, you, you're going to go right through it. But when you have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, discernment, <laughs> you're going to have a reverence for the Lord and you're going to have blessings that's going to be pouring out of heaven upon you and your family. And I don't know about you. That's what I want. Let's value wisdom and let's start, start searching her and seeking her. And that's going to bring a new reverence of who God really is. Amen. Hey, that's the PDJ for the day. Make sure you join me for prayer um, Thursday. Uh, I want to close out with a word of prayer and uh, make sure you, you um, join us tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, uh, instead of Q&A, we're going to have a prayer service tomorrow night at, um, for Wednesday night service at 7. We'll be online for the prayer as well. Uh, we just want to be praying. Uh, we're incorporating more prayer nights uh, within the church this year uh, because it's something that we need to get back to. Amen. We need that within our lives and within the church. And, and then we're going to, um, I'll be right back Thursday morning at 7.30 a.m. Make sure you submit your prayer request, peakworship.com, select the praying hands um, so I can be praying with you every Thursday, 7.30 a.m. Uh, I, I come to you live so we can be praying. There's a lot to be praying for. Amen. And I also, sh I love to share testimony. So ha if you have a testimony, share your testimonies as well. But I want you to seek wisdom. Amen. Father God, we just come before you, Lord. And Lord, we thank you, Father God, for what you're doing. We thank you for the wisdom that is free, the wisdom that you have for us, Father God. And Lord, I pray a hunger, Father God, upon each and every one of us, Father God. Lord, that we seek that wisdom, that we choose to search it in the midst of the streets, that we choose to search it in our prayer closet, we choose to search it driving down the road and, and reading the word and in our lives being, uh, you know, and, and within our homes and within our workplaces and just all areas of our life. I, I pray that we, we search your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, your discernment, Father God. Lord, 
that we'll have a reverence towards you, that we'll have a, a, a trust that grows each and every day, a confidence in you that grows each and every day, Father God. Lord, that we'll, Father God, be able to, to get the, 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 the blessings that you have for us, that we'll be able to, to be obedient to your word. We'll be able to have the strength to be overcomers, Father God. Lord, we'll have the discernment to choose righteous at all times. And, and Father God, when we fall, we know we can get back up. We can repent and, and it can be from the heart because there's a reverence towards you, Father God, Lord. Because then, then there's a, a sorrow that if we hurt you, Father God, because we have a reverence towards you. So, Father God, I pray for the strength, Father God, for each and every individual to seek out wisdom. Father God, Lord, that it's a greater value within their lives than anything else. We give you the glory and honor, and we thank you for this PDJ. We thank you for your word. We thank you for our lives, and we thank you for our salvation. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Love you guys. You guys have a great day. We'll see you for prayer. When? Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock.